Hello everyone, I'm Captain Logan. Ah, Vince! And it's time once again to recommend some stuff. Hey Vince, yeah. uh, what do you have to recommend today? I have a movie. I'm surprised I haven't recommended this before. It was fairly popular. Uh, thank you for smoking. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Thank you for smoking and have a good day. I haven't watched that. Yeah. It's great. It's dark comedy. Uh, well, of course. Would Vince like dark comedy? Yes, he would. But uh, it's it's really funny. It's really strange. It's uh, it's about a lobbyist for a tobacco company. And uh, is that so far out there to see from the title? Thank you for smoking. No, I understand. And I know that this wasn't necessarily underground. But for some of you guys who are thinking, well, is this going to be a good movie? Yes, there's a character arc. People learn things. They have trials and tribulations. It's really cool. And uh, for a little geek cred here, we have Aaron Eckhart. And we have uh, Rachel Dawes, excuse me, I mean, uh, I mean Katie Holmes. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know they were both in that. I knew Aaron Eckhart was in that. I mean, this has a really all-star cast, so almost every one of these guys I can pick from a geek movie. <laughs> yeah. Maria Bello, she was in, uh, in uh, that movie with, uh, screw it, I'm not going to name all these things because they're not coming to mind. Anyway. Oh, okay, so you can't do that, right? I, I could, but I don't want to waste time ah. with, with Vince going, I don't know, is it good? Uh, it's great. It's, it's, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of heart to this movie. There's a lot of uh, damaged people in this movie. It's, you know, it occurs to me I don't have a lot to say. It's one of those movies that I feel like you just have to see it. I think it's one of those movies that, uh, uh, if you had the the reserve that says this is not going to be something in my taste palette, it's it's both a comedy and an actual movie, and because uh, <laughs> comedies aren't actual movies. Well, that's the thing is that I think Eddie Murphy said it best when he was talking about his movie Life. He said that uh, so many comedies today are just a string of skits put together, and uh, he says this is a story and a comedy. This is a story and a comedy, so it's it's an actual movie. <laughs> I think more comedy should strive to be actual movies. No, I no, I'm with you. I'm with you. Now nah, we talked about that before. I just I just thought it was a funny statement to just go on from and not actually talk about. Yeah. So yeah, I recommend it. I'm not going to review it. I'm just going to recommend it. Well, you're on the right show. <laughs> uh, so this week uh, I've done almost nothing but play Arkham City events. I've just been <laughs> playing Arkham City constantly. So he's going to recommend Spider Man. <laughs> Joke. I thought I would play something, <laughs> something Superman and be like, and, and talk about Arkham City for five minutes and be like, so today I'm recommending Superman. No, uh, but but instead, um, I am going to recommend something actually Arkham City related, and it won't be a joke. Um, I got the collector's edition, which which I which I mentioned on this other, other stuff. And by the way, let me just mention uh, real quick how freaking amazing that game is. And I'm going to go actually as far as to say, and I've said before that I don't think video games usually have really compelling character-driven stories. This thing does, and I, it's one of the best Batman stories ever. I mean, it, like, it, this could have been... This could have been, like, a two-year, you know, No Man's Land kind of event thing. It was... Yeah, it's amazing. Anyway, I just have to say that. And don't I don't say that, because DC will do it. I don't know. They should. I mean, I don't want to give... They'll make it an event. I don't want to give event. anything away about the... No, I mean, like, a Batman book event, because I actually like most of those, but... Well, well, well. Anyway, uh, so so today I'm recommending yeah, Arkham City the album, which I got in the collector's edition, and um, this is just a flimsy thingy that has the download code um, to get the album. You, you, don't, you don't actually get the disc, which you, I kind of wish I got in the disc. You know, like I wish yeah. they put the disc in there. But I guess they're saving money. But I did get the the the, the album, and I got to download it, and I've been listening to this, and um, this is great. I. Uh, it's it's lots of really good hard rock. I mean, it's commercial hard rock, but it's really good hard rock. And um, it's it's got a um, it's got a Panic at the Disco song at the beginning, which is I don't usually love that band, but I really like that song. Like it's 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 quite no really you should hear it. It's quite good. And I like um, Panic at the Disco. I can't help. it. Well, I like I, they're kind of hit and miss for me, but like this 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 song uh, Mercenary at the beginning of this is probably my favorite song right now. I mean, like it's really good. It's called Mercenary. It's called Mercenary. That's music, considering every Panic at the Disco song is like three paragraphs long. What's their <laughs> title? Yeah, yeah. Uh, most of these are like one word songs. Uh, but but anyway, and actually, you know, there, there's there's a song called Shadow on the Run, and then another song called Enemy in the Shadow. So you know, take that for what's Um But uh, but there's it's 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 worth and, and if you get no other track on it, like if you just go download 
um, different tracks and don't get the whole album. Because we do this these days, we just buy songs and not whole albums. Uh, but if you, if you only get one song on this, um, make sure you get Total Paranoia, which is uh, by the guy from System of the Down. Uh, who I didn't realize had gone on and launched his own solo career, but he has, and this is one of his most amazing songs. Uh, the, the, man, the man's a lyrical genius, and I've always liked him. Did you know he's a poet? Um, he's a published poet, also. And uh, anyway, he's, he's such a, which makes sense, because he's such a good lyricist. Anyway, uh, listen to that song. It's creepy, it's, 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 it's moody, it's, 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 quite, it's, quite a, it's quite a great song. But most of the album is, is really good, and as, as a whole, um, it has really great atmosphere. It goes along really well with the ideas and themes of the game, and it's very obvious that the, uh, I won't list out all the, all the names of the tracks and all the, all the bands, but it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty evident that all the bands were... Um, really looking into the game and figuring out what it was about when they were writing their their their, uh, their songs and there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that very much evokes ideas of Batman versus the city and Batman versus the Joker um, and and stuff like that so uh, and, and 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 that first track I was talking about even has I, I, I it has a spoken word section that I think is. Um, is being spoken by the guy who voices Hugo Strange, although I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's who it is. And uh, it's 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 directly talking about Batman's parents getting killed. So anyway, it's a, it's a really great album, and everybody should totally listen to it. Doctor Hugo Strange, love. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, it's uh, a great movie. <laughs> so so definitely download that. Uh, it's available in all kinds of places, and it's easy to get. So uh, check it out. I really liked it, and um, I was anchoring for good new music. So. This is the kind of stuff I like, you know? Um, really good early 2000s type uh, hard rock. Uh, kind of like kind of like the Daredevil album, only a lot more brooding and a lot slower. Oh, so like In certain Batman. places. Yeah, so <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> and, we just, and, and we just figured out the difference between Batman and Daredevil. Um, no, no, anyway. Thanks a lot for watching us recommend things. And we'll recommend something for you once again next week. <laughs> I'm Captain Logan. But I'm Vince! See you next time.